Hi, this is Debbie from Lime Doodle Design and thank you for joining me for Doodling with Debbie. Today I'll be creating a little winter scene with watercolouring and ink blending using the Santa Sleigh Ride Slider Set. As the name suggests, this set can be used to create a slider card. However, I wanted to concentrate on the sweet little neighbourhood scene. This is the card of two parts, an ink blended sky and then the scene below is lightly watercoloured. To split the card in two, I stamped the houses seen in Nocturne Ink on Fabriano Artistico Extra White Cold Press Watercolour Card. This took a few times to get a really good impression. And then I stamped it again on Samsa Stamp Masking Paper. I carefully fussy cut the mask and one tip when doing this is to cut on or slightly into the black stamp lines. This way there is no extra mask covering the background and causing white highlights where you don't want them. Once the mask was fully trimmed out, I peeled off the backing paper and then carefully added it over the image on the watercolour card and pressed down firmly. Next, I set up my work desk with a slick mat to aid with ink blending. I chose a selection of distress inks, spun sugar, wilted violet, weathered wood, hickory smoke and black soot. Later on, I added stormy sky for a bluer hint. I started with the pinks and purples and gently blended them around the houses. Then working from the top of the card, I blended weather wood, then hickory smoke, then black soot. Finally, for that hint of blue I mentioned, I added in stormy sky. As you can see, I speeded up this section of the video to super speed because ink blending on watercolour card does take a bit of time. The paper absorbs the ink more and the cold press texture takes some working over too. However, finally you do get a lovely deep rich ink blended sky. Here you can see the colours I used again. While I still had the mask covering the houses, I splattered with white gouache, then pressed the stormy sky pad to the mat and picked up some of the ink with a brush and splattered that too. Next I really wanted the sky to be the star of the show, so I used the large falling snow stencil and added snowflakes with white embossing paste from Wendy Vecchi. Finally, I lifted the mask to reveal the clean, clear, crisp winter scene under an atmospheric winter sky. To paint the scene, I used Daniel Smith paints and a light hand. The sky was busy enough that really all the scene needed was hints of colour. I used my usual two brush technique to save paint, whereby I load one brush with concentrated paint and then pull the colour out with a damp brush. This way you aren't continuously washing your brush and washing away all your valuable paint. I'd rather buy a quality paint and use it carefully to get the best value for my investment. I'm interested to see how everyone paints this scene. Will they go for bright colourful houses or a more Nordic colour scheme as I did here? My aim was to have the rich creamy tones on the houses with red tile roofs covered in snow, traditional red ornaments on the trees and the light from the window shining out on this peaceful scene with just hints of shadows to shape the snowy mounds. I wanted a peaceful calm scene so that you can almost hear the creak of the snow underfoot. There are some great sentiments in the Santa Sleigh Ride slider set, but I love the clean lines of Kathy Zilski's sentiments, and so I choose a greeting from the Good Cheer set. I stamped it in postmark ink on black card and white heat embossed, and then trimmed it down to a skinny sentiment. I trimmed the main panel and added foam adhesive to the back, and then added to an ivory card base. I added more foam adhesive to the back of the sentiment strip and added that under the little snowman. I debated adding accents such as sequins, glitter or even a smiley face to the snowman, but in the end I thought the card was busy enough. So that completes this little watercoloured winter scene. On the Slam Stamp blog you'll find a coordinating blog post as well as details of the supplies I've used today. If you want to find me, I blog over at lamedodesign.com. I want to thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.